lot of times with the belly, we're like, oh, my belly is too big, or I don't feel comfortable, or da 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 da. A lot of times we have so many um, judgments on ourselves. And why? Because, because the magazines and the television and other people say like, oh yeah, you know, you should be really thin or really slim and then you're perfect. Or then you're attractive or then you will attract more men or more girls or more women or whatever. It's about that person in there. It's about you. It's about how you feel. You know, if your belly is big compared to, to, to what other people say, or what people say is, you know, what is big and what is small anyway. It's about that you feel comfortable with your body. It's about that you have peace with who you are and the way you look. For me, well, sure, you can say, oh yeah, you have, it's easy to talk for you because you're like, da 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 da, you're thin or you're beautiful or you're, it's not about that. For me, it took me a long time to, to get at this point where, I'm, uh, where I am right now. It took me a long time to accept myself. It took me a long time to say, okay, my... Hey, look at this. The spider! It took me a long time to, uh, to, say, I'm, to say I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with myself. I'm comfortable with my lower body. You know why? Because people in my past told me that I wasn't good enough. I didn't have a good self-image. There was a lot in my past that um, that helped me back from being from being happy and healthy. There were things in my past happened that I was dragging along with me. Um, so I'm, I'm actually telling you this because a lot of times we're holding on to things that people, negative things especially, that people told, has told you, uh, things that have happened in your past that are considered to be really bad. Um, but you know, you can overcome everything. And I'm an example. You can overcome so many things. You, you'll be amazed about what you can do. Sure, if you have the attitude like, oh my god, you know, I got raped, or, or my father beat me, or they told me I was ugly, or nobody liked me in school, they always teased me. You can hold on to that. You can, you can hold on to that and have a miserable rest of your life. Do you want that? No, I don't think so either. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to hold on to all the things that happened to me. I did a lot of self-research. I did a lot of training to self-growth uh, courses and trainings to find out what, you know, who I am. Who, I, who am I actually? What do I like? What do I, where can I find my happiness? How can I let go of those patterns, uh, those, those, those things that happened in the past? How can I let go of some, mostly that's what it's about. How can I let go of the thoughts in my head? The thoughts will keep you where you at. And you know, they don't keep you only mentally, but they keep you spiritually and they keep you physically. And this, this is becoming emotional for me because oh, it's, it's been, you know, it's been such a long road. It's been such a long struggle also to really, to, to, to find myself and I'm so, the, the, the emotional part for me is also that I'm so grateful that I'm at this point right now that I can really say I, I love myself, I like myself, I'm okay with myself, I like the way I look, I, I, I'm, I'm okay, I'm proud of who I am. And especially grateful, I'm so grateful that God has blessed me with, with so many talents and uh, that I a lot of times took for granted. A lot of times like, you know, I can, I can do this well, I can do that well, I can paint, I can dance, I can, I can uh, you know, I can, I can teach, I can, I can do so many things. And I just took it for granted. So my message to you is, 
get up from the place where you're at, where you're not comfortable, where you're not okay with yourself. Get up. You can, you cha you can change. You can change at the moment that you are making the decision that this is enough. This is enough of suffering. This is enough of, you know, whatever. For instance, this is enough of living on the street. This is enough of living in this huge mansion and I'm not happy. This is enough of having so much stuff around me. But what am I? I, I'm f I feel lonely. I feel lonely. You can make the decision that it's enough right now. And you can. And you know what's going to happen? When you feel okay within yourself, and I'll help you with getting, getting, you know, getting comfortable within your body. I'll help you with getting comfortable with your self-image, with uh, getting your body relaxed. You know, I'll use my dance. Uh, come and check me out. Come, 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 get my massages. Come, I'll, I'll teach you dance. Look at my DVD, or, 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 or just. Call me and, 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 and I'll help you with, with teaching, uh, teaching you uh, with the right health, with the right food, with the right exercise, with the right thoughts, with the right connection with your partner. When you're okay with yourself, you're going to be okay, not only mentally, but physically and spiritually. You, your, your body is going to shape in the way that fits you. It's ama it's uh, you you might say yeah right no it's really it helped it worked for me that way so I beg you please you can change if you want to change but you have to make the decision you have to say okay it's enough it's enough and I want to be happy I want to be happy with how with this size with this size with this size whatever I am I want to be happy and you can do it. You can really do it, but you have to make an effort. It doesn't come for, you know, it's not like magic and it's happened. You have to work at it. If you want to, it's all up to you. But you can have a glorious and joyful, joy, joyful life. Yeah, that's, that's it. Thank you very much. Bianca van Berkel, European Health and Wellness. I'm so glad I can do this and bring this out and be honest and... Uh, at the same time hope to reach you to be honest to yourself to be honest to yourself and from there that you can reach out to other people